In this video, we'll be taking apart the Tecno 1205 Pro. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then a plastic pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. The back plate can now be gently lifted over, but be careful since the flex cable for the LED lights on the back is still attached to the main board. Now there are 19 Phillips screws that need to be removed. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. On this side of the back plate, there's an extra layer, which the LED light assembly down here shines light up to, to make the design effect on the back light up. And here's a look at those LEDs. Now a plastic pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run along the edges to pop off the catches. The back housing can now be carefully lifted over, but be careful since the flex cable for the fingerprint reader is still attached to the main board. At this point the battery cables can be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. The back housing is also made of plastic. The glass and the camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off so you don't need to take apart the phone to replace those. The dual LED flash is located here, and the NFC antenna is located next to it. There's also graphite film to help transfer heat. Looking at the other side, we can see multiple antenna flex cables around the border. The two coaxial cables on the right side of the board can be disconnected by popping them off. Looking at the main board, there's a 50 megapixel primary camera and a 0.08 depth lens, none of which have OIS or optical image stabilization. The SIM card and memory card readers located on the back, as well as the 16 megapixel front facing camera, the proximity sensor, and the front facing LED flash. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's thermal paste on the back shields to help transfer heat. Once the shield cover has been removed, we can see additional thermal paste on top of these chips. Once the thermal paste has been cleaned off, we have a better look at the processor and RAM. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the speaker assembly. There's some more graphite film over the speaker assembly. And here's a look at the speaker itself. Looking at the subboard, we can see a rubber gasket around the connector, headphone jack, and charger port. The primary microphone is underneath this rubber gasket.
And here's a look at the other side. To remove or replace the battery, there's a pull pouch provided to help you pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. Once the adhesive hole pouch is peeled back, we can see this flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard, and the screen flex cable which is routed through an opening in the mid frame. So if you needed to replace this screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the screws on the back housing and the back housing itself, you'd then disconnect the battery cables and the screen cable, and then you'd pry the battery off, You'd peel off the battery adhesive pouch, giving you access to the screen cable. You'd then heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath. You'd pry your old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame, and reassemble the phone. Once those flex cables have been peeled back, we have a better look at the copper vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery and the motherboard. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom and is held down with some adhesive. The flex cable for the volume keys and power button is located on this side, which is also held down with some adhesive. So if you need to replace that, you have to just gently peel it off. And the earpiece speaker is located on top, which again is also held down with some adhesive. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Now it's time to reassemble the phone. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.